Hello and welcome to pnclounge.com. Today we are talking about decision tree analysis. And as you can see on your screen, there is this tree somewhere in the great white north that can help you perform decision tree analysis. So every time a project manager needs to take a decision, he needs to take a flight to the great white north, visit this tree and ask it, seek its decision, right? Of course, this is a joke. Now let's keep poor jokes aside and let's talk about decision tree analysis. So this is basically a topic in risk management knowledge area and we'll go into details about where does it lie. As always, if you're into reading articles, then you can check the first link in the description, which is going to take you to a related article on this topic over at our official website, bnclounge.com. Second link, as always, will be the playlist of every single video that we have done on risk management knowledge area. So two important links, check them out. Let's get started. Please like this video as it seems to be the only way YouTube is going to remind you every time we upload new content. So as I said earlier, this is a topic within risk management knowledge area. Decision tree analysis is basically a tool and technique in the perform quantitative risk analysis process. This process is of course part of a risk management knowledge area. In fact, let's take a look at the PGKA mapping. So risk management knowledge area is what we are talking about. Planning process group is the process group and perform quantitative risk analysis. Within this process, there is a tool and technique known as decision tree analysis. In fact, it's a bit more complex than that because we need to also talk about EMV. So we'll look at that in the slides to come. EMV or expected monetary value. Now, before we proceed, I'd like to remind you that the second link in the description that contains every single video that we have done on risk management knowledge area contains videos on perform quantitative risk analysis process as well as EMV and that video explains how EMV is calculated. Just to make your life easier, the third link in the description is going to be a direct link to the perform quantitative risk analysis process and the fourth one is going to be a video where we have shown how to calculate EMV or expected monetary value. But in the benefit for the benefit of this video let's talk about emv just a bit so this is what emv is all about with the help of expected monetary value analysis you will be able to calculate the costs of all the paths you might take during the course of your project so every time your project has multiple paths that it can go, you can perform EMV analysis so that you can calculate the expected monetary value of each of those paths. And once you have the EMVs, the monetary values of all those paths, then you can take a decision of which path you should be going. So that is what EMV is and we've talked about it earlier. Let's move on to decision tree analysis and where does it fit into this entire picture? If you are looking for free practice questions, head over to pnclounge.com slash PMP practice questions. Decision tree analysis. This is basically another way of calculating EMV or the expected monetary value. I hope it's clear for you by now that EMV basically is an analysis that helps you choose which path your project to, should take based on the monetary value. So decision tree analysis is also something that is going to help you come up with monetary values. And if it's not clear yet, the next slide is going to be an example of decision tree analysis. So do stick around. This entire analysis is basically a 
quantitative risk analysis and modeling technique so again the process itself is quantitative risk analysis so of course this is a technique within quantitative risk analysis but it is also a modeling technique and it will be much more clearer in the next slide when we take a look at a decision tree analysis so what are we waiting for let's go there so here's an example of decision tree analysis you are at a position where you need to make a decision buy new it server for upcoming cyber monday traffic surge so what's happening here is you basically own an e-commerce website and cyber monday is coming up so you are wondering whether or not you should buy a new it server because there is going to be a traffic surge on the account of cyber monday so you have two paths that you can take from here you can buy a new it server or you can look for a cheaper upgrade so you can upgrade the existing server and if there is a cheaper upgrade available or a cheaper way to upgrade your existing server available maybe replace some parts within your server you can take a look at that as well so if you go the new it server path if you go with this path and let's say there is heavy traffic you are expecting a sales of 10000 us dollars if there is low traffic on the day of cyber monday you are still expecting a sales of 5000 us dollars but if you go to the path of cheaper upgrade now remember you don't have a new it server here you are basically upgrading your existing server with uh, by replacing some parts right if you do this and let's say you have heavy traffic then what's happening is because of high downtime you will have sales of two thousand dollars so you did not buy new it server what you did was you upgraded your existing server with some uh, you know a cheaper upgrade that you did and then on cyber monday there was heavy traffic on your website but because of high downtime you only could make a sales of two thousand dollars but if there was low traffic on cyber monday you will have smaller downtime because there's low traffic on the website you will make sales of only 500 dollars so these are the situations that you can think of when it comes to making a decision now let's put in some numbers because we are talking about quantitative risk analysis so we need to quantify all of this first number is minus 2000 us dollars so if you buy a new it server it is going to cost you two thousand dollars and this is a value in negative because you need to spend this money if you upgrade your existing server with the by replacing some parts you need to pay five hundred dollars so again this is a minus value because you are basically spending money now what are the probabilities the probability of having heavy traffic is 40 percent the probability of having low traffic is 60 percent it's the same in both cases 40 percent and 60 percent the traffic you know uh, traffic coming on your website it does not really uh, depend on whether you uh, upgrade to a new it server or you basically upgrade some parts of your existing server because the traffic does not know that so the probability remains the same so now in order to calculate emv what you're basically doing is let's say you bought a new it server and there was heavy traffic on the day of cyber monday so how is emv calculated you have 40 percent chance of making 10,000 us dollars remember heavy traffic would lead to sales of 10,000 us dollars so you basically have a chance a 40 percent chance of making 10,000 us dollars which gives us a value 4,000 us dollars the total cost is 
minus two thousand dollars because you had to spend two thousand dollars to buy a new IT server. So minus two thousand dollars plus four thousand dollars that you are expecting to make uh, because there's a forty percent chance of making ten thousand US dollars, right? So the total cost comes out to be two thousand US dollars. Similarly, EMV of the situation where your website gets low traffic on the day of Cyber Monday. That means a 60% chance of making 5,000 US dollars. Remember, it's low traffic. So what you're making is $3,000, which means total cost is $2,000 in minus because that's the money that you're going to spend if you buy a new IT server plus $3,000 that you expect to make even if there is low traffic on the day of Cyber Monday. So the cost that you get is $1,000 US dollars. Similarly, you can calculate the EMV for the case where you went for a cheaper upgrade. With your existing server, you basically replaced some parts, you made a cheap upgrade. What happened then was there was a 40% probability of making 2000 US dollars if there was high traffic, which means $800. So total cost would be minus $500 for making the cheaper upgrade plus $800 worth of sales that you expect to make, which means $300. And similarly, there is a probability of 60% that you are going to have low traffic and then you're going to make only $500, which gives a value of $300. And total cost would be minus 500 for the cheap upgrade that you did and $300, which is the money that you made, which means a value of minus $200. Now you've calculated all this. What next? Next is you calculate total EMV of new IT server. So that means minus $2,000, which you need to spend to buy the new IT server, plus $2,000, which is your best case scenario here, plus $1,000, which is your worst case scenario, low traffic here. So this gives you a total EMV of $1,000. Similarly, you can calculate the total EMV of the cheap upgrade path, that is, you spend $500 for the upgrade, you could make $300 in best case scenario, and you could lose $200 in the worst case scenario, which gives you a value of minus $400. So with all these values, which path do you think you're going to take? Would you buy a new IT server or would you basically upgrade your existing server with uh, parts, cheap parts of course you're going to buy a new id server because one thousand dollars is any day better than minus four hundred dollars so that is how decision tree analysis helps you take decisions question for this video where do you see yourself using decision tree analysis either on your projects or in your real life? Let me know in the comments. Definitely looking forward to your answers. And that's all that we had in this video. I hope you got value out of it. I hope you were able to understand what decision tree analysis is all about. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified uh, whenever we upload new content. Also, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you and have a nice day.